check out this loop after several attempts of trying and failing i finally changed the game on how to achieve crochet four locks using yarn thread without boning it trust me this is a game changing style i search here on youtube to see if anyone has done this before nobody someone out there is going to become rich after watching this video because i went all out to show you how you can package and sell them to help you make fortune for your family just keep on watching hi beauty welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel welcome to the family and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i love you without you there will be no crown to soul beauty channel in this tutorial you will be needing yarn thread hook anger wig stand you can use any stand of your choice so right now i have to measure my yarn thread i'll be using 24 inches of yarn thread just to achieve the same length for this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to get a perfect loop for your crochet lock right now i'm going to go ahead and cut the yarn thread first thing you need to do is to take out 24 pieces of yarn thread and also take out three pieces of yarn thread the 24 pieces of yarn thread then fold it in the middle use your finger to fold it a little bit then place the loop area on top of your hanger then braid the head down please make sure you braid the head loosely don't make it tight this will make the four logs very very soft in order to insert your plait once you are done with that use three pieces of your yarn thread using your crochet needle attach it at the center of your loop then go ahead and pull one side of your yarn thread to the loop make sure one side is totally longer than the other side then attach the short piece of your yarn thread to the straight braiding hair start wrapping the longer piece of your yarn thread across the straight braiding hair once you get to the state that you don't have yarn thread then pick another yarn thread and start wrapping it again Then the third wrap, I'm going to start cutting the yarn thread to achieve a pencil look. It depends on your discretion on how you want your pencil to look like. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you two different pencils that you can achieve with this yarn thread. So I'm going to be doing it again, but this time around, I'm not braiding it, I'm twisting it. Just keep watching to see how it's, the outcome of it. Then I will show you the difference between both. Trust me, this is the game changing part. Once you are almost getting to the end of the lock, please make sure it's three yarn remaining for both sides. Once you have gotten to your desired length of your lock, with these techniques, you don't need to burn it or to use lighter, you surely thank me later. Then go ahead and bend the three yarn thread you are using to wrap the lock upward 
then you will use the remaining three to continue with the wrap for this first lock i'm going to cut the yarn because the way i want the pencil to look but the second lock i'm not going to cut it that's the reason why it said it's two different lock i'm doing for you then you now choose which one is is preferable for you once you have gotten to the end tie the end with the first yarn thread then continue wrapping then then tie the second then later the third yarn thread trust me this air won't unravel with all the techniques i'm going to show you in this video no need to burn it this is a game changing part with one yarn thread with this length i was able to achieve six crochet four locks then i'm going to do this crochet four locks one more time then we we'll move to the next stage on how to secure the hair from unraveling and for you to have this crochet look just keep watching you thank me later i'm super proud of myself achieving this air i know very soon other youtubers will try this out crochet hair is really really expensive with seven pack of yarn thread with this length i was able to achieve 42 crochet four logs tell me you don't like it what are you waiting for join the family we are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers at the end of this year as a new youtuber and we know it's possible because we are family over here we know it's possible so join the family make sure you subscribe now and click the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my game changing air if you haven't liked the video yet make sure you like this video please do me a huge favor by sharing this video on your social media and your community tab because the more you share this video the more views i get the more views i get the higher my subscribers just to encourage your girl to do more of game changing styles You will see now that I did not cut this crochet. So it depends on your discretion, what you want, what you want to achieve, how you want your length to be, how you want your pencil to be. If you want it very tiny, you start cutting it step by step. And if you just want the tip to be pencil, then you, start, you give a little gap and you start cutting it. This is the only log that is twisted but the remaining 41 pieces of log was braiding hair because I love the look that it gives me. So guys, I went off camera to repeat this step. I was able to get 42 logs from 7 yarn thread that cost me $3.80. So right now, can you see the difference, the ironed log and the one that is not ironed? I'm going to show you how I'm going to iron the lock. Check out the loop. Look at the difference. Look, check out the loop. Once you are done with the crochet four locks, then take a straightener, iron the lock. Can you see the difference between when you flat iron the lock and when you don't? Check out the loop of this crochet four locks. The loop is ironed. Can you see the difference? So it's good to flat iron it i'm also going to show you how to use hot water method to achieve this lock make sure you use the flat iron to seal the end of this four lock after flat ironing the 37 pieces of this four locks so i decided to try one four lock in hot water off camera to see the outcome then the remaining four i decided to show you guys 
on how I achieve it with hot water. When you ask me which one do I prefer among both, I prefer the flat iron because flat iron gives me the look that I want. I decided to show you guys butter method if you want it that way, if you can't go to the stress of flat ironing it and all that. But let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. Do you prefer it in hot water or flat iron? And which other game changing style do you want me to do for you? If you happen to repeat this style, give me some credit that you are inspired by Crown to Soul Beauty so I can share your videos with my subscribers. Let's rock the styles together. You can also use these techniques on how I achieve the crochet fall logs when you want to make your air you can use it that way trust me you don't need to pawn it you are good to go if you are doing it on your air what you just need to do is once you are getting to the end of the log you cut it like that just like the way i achieve this crochet for logs trust me it won't unravel if you want to do this as a business, you will need a ribbon to hold the hair and also together with a packaging bag. I got this packaging bag from my local beauty supply store. Then you are swimming in millions. You are good to go and start selling it. If you want to see how I install this hair, make sure you check the description box of which I will be uploading very soon make sure you follow me on instagram i will have it up right here on the screen and also down below i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye